This is the brand new Insta360 X4. And by the end of this video, it'll be set up with your phone and fully operational. Now in this box, you get the camera and over here is the instruction manuals and all of the cables and things that you would need for the X4. Now, one thing to note is there is a little QR code on this box. You will want to scan that and download the Insta360 app because the camera will need that to transfer files over to your phone and many, many more functions. So make sure you do that now. And when you get into this app, you're going to either have to register or log into your current Insta360 account. So now that you're signed in on your Insta360 account, now you want to turn on the camera. And when you do this, it'll prompt this thing up for English and a bunch of different languages. Obviously for me, it is going to be English. So now it's telling me to download the Insta360 app. And at this point, we go over to our Insta360 app. We hit this little camera Wi-Fi button and we scroll down. I have many other cameras on here, but I'm going to hit this little X4 button here, and that is going to connect this camera. Now, it's immediately prompting me to update, and you will want to update because we have some new features, which allows you to shoot 360 degree live video. So you definitely want to get to starting this update, and it shouldn't take that long, but just be prepared for a couple minutes. And then you just have to hit confirm on the actual camera there. And now it has prompted me to join with the Wi-Fi. I'm going to hit join. And if you get any messages like that, you're just going to want to hit join, continue, anything like that if you want to get this thing set up with the app. Okay, now it said that the update has been successful. That was actually really, really quick and it's going to restart. And then it's going to prompt me with English again. I'm going to hit next. Then I'm going to hit the please reconnect device on the phone. And now it should reconnect with this camera. Prompt on the camera to confirm the connection and then you hit join again on the iPhone. You're just reconnecting these cameras because now it's been firmware updated and it kind of has to redo that whole Wi-Fi process. And now I'm getting the prompt to activate this camera. So I'm just going to hit uh, activate over here and now it's going to start to activate it. It is also giving me a prompt on how to install the lens guards in case you want to install those. I do have one installed right here. Now we are inside the actual camera and you can swipe down for your control center. This is where you have all of the different things like telling the camera the lens guards are on. If you do end up picking up the premium lens guards, you can actually hit the premium versions. You're going to want to tell it which ones you have. So I'm just going to hit that or you could leave it in auto. Now in here, there's like something like screen brightness. I'm going to turn that on auto. Then there's stuff like the volume. So you can go medium, low. I'm going to put mine on low. And this is two pages of different things like that. If you go to the right and you go to the very last one here, that is the setting. So you might want to change a couple of these settings to start off. First, if you scroll down a little bit to image settings, you're going to want to click on that and you go to see bitrate, you want to put that to high because that means you're going to get the highest quality out of your X4 unless you're concerned about storage. Now, besides that, the camera will give you little prompts on how to go throughout your different camera, change your different resolutions and all of that. Now, you will want to install an SD card in here. Insta360 makes great SD cards, so I would highly recommend those or really any other SanDisk. So that is how you set up the Insta360 X4 with your phone. If you run into any issues, make sure you go down in the comment section and let me know. I will try to respond to as many comments as possible.